One thing you could also do with your sales data is you could go up here to insert recommended pivot tables and it'll give you a bunch of different options, right? And uh, some of these options won't make any sense because it's just kind of saying, hey, do you want to look at it in this way or in that way? But some of them will give you ideas of different ways of looking at your data. So I've basically gone through here and created each of these recommended pivot tables and you could take a look at them down here right and then some of the things which you know maybe don't make sense like I would have rather have had total here than the sum of price because if I look at my data right the sum of the price really doesn't tell me much the sum of the price doesn't really tell me much right you know it might be interesting to know what the average price is for each region because then I could see if some regions are willing to pay more or less than other regions so I could come down to values click on that little drop down arrow change the field settings and I can say instead of giving me a sum give me an average and now the average price per region is pretty interesting because I can see that on average you know the price point is pretty much the same for all of those different regions the south is actually willing to spend a little bit more and the west which is surprising to me is not spends a little less than everybody by seven dollars not a significant difference but still interesting I can also click that plus sign to get my drill down and see how different states are, how they spend on average, what's the average price they're willing to purchase. You know, but if I want a total there instead of price, I could just come over here and I could drag that field away and I could bring total down and that's how I change it. So even the recommended pivot tables, you could jump in there and start changing them. Uh, more recommended pivot tables. So you could just take a look at all of these different possibilities of looking at your data. Uh, and these are just the recommended ones that come up. Like here's another one that's a recommended one, but this column doesn't make sense. How do I remove it? Sum of sales transactions, right? I have my manufacturers, and then beneath that, I could drill down to each of their individual items. And then sum of sales transactions. So what would that be, sum of sales transactions? Sum of sales transactions. Well, there's sales transactions, so it's adding up each record ID for uh, you know whatever the sales invoice number was so that really doesn't make any sense right there so if I wanted to I could come over here and find some of sales transactions and then I could just pull that one away and that column disappears so really pretty easy amazing powerful tool <laughs> you know for working with your data and it gets even better so let's say that I have this pivot table here are a few instructions for us to follow so I'm going to click in here to bring up my pivot table feature.